a matter of fact, the consumption of bacon and hot dogs and pastrami and luncheon meats, even prior to conception in women, increase the risk of childhood cancers or autism or brain tumors in their offspring. Many people don't know, but the fumes that you smell when you cook bacon are actually carcinogenic. You're eating cooked meat that is processed, high in salt, high in fat, so that can actually immediately constrict your arteries. And they have actually seen children as low as eight, nine years old, already showing signs of constriction of their arterial system. And we all know that a high salt diet is also increased with increased risk of mortality, um, definitely processed meat, as well as colon cancer and all types of cancer. When you eat too much animal protein, there appear to be unfavorable effects on many different levels. You know, there has been interesting work looking at the gut microbiome um, and metabolites that might be released into the bloodstream that might play a powerful role in terms of promoting inflammation. We also know that the body's not able to, to process meat as well. This might have adverse effects in terms of just your ability to um, properly regulate your own um, sugars, so your blood sugars. Um, and a lot of things like that end up being out of balance. Um, and again, promote inflammation. This ends up being a bit of a snowball effect. So when we eat bacon, what happens is that we introduce the introduction of excess cholesterol. Our body actually produces cholesterol. The liver makes cholesterol and it makes just enough cholesterol to satisfy all the hormones in the body. But when we introduce excess cholesterol, the body says, hey, this is great. You've given me some extra cholesterol. I better store it because I don't know what's gonna happen. We might be in an ice age tomorrow. We might be in a drought. I'm gonna store it because it's a really good product. And the problem is it starts to store it in the organs. It starts to store it in the liver, in the muscles and in the vessels. So within those nice circular vessels, the cholesterol starts getting deposited in the vessels and it builds up slowly and slowly and the vessels don't like it. The process of atherosclerosis is actually one where the body starts to attack those cholesterol deposits that go into the vessels and of course it builds up and up and up and up and the vessels close, 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 close and that means that you have impaired blood flow to the key organs. Well, all of the things that are risk factors associated with eating high amounts of animal foods, increased risk of cancer, increased risk of, risk of type 2 diabetes, increased risk of coronary artery disease. Um, it, it's significantly worse when you eat this, this processed garbage, I mean, bacon and hot dogs. And I've often thought that one of the things that we could do to discourage people from even wanting to eat these things is to show them a short video about how hot dogs are made, significantly higher risk of chronic degenerative conditions and much more severe forms of those conditions, particularly cancer, when you eat processed meats like bacon and sausage and hot dogs. Hypertension, high cholesterol, chronic kidney disease, uh, hypothyroidism, cognitive decline, insulin resistance, diabetes, cancer, you name it. And so processed meat in general is considered, you know, a class one carcinogen. And uh, not only can it increase your risk for cancer, but as far as diabetes is concerned, uh, processed meats, uh, meat in general, foods that are relatively high in their total fat content, um, end up depositing small amounts of, of fat inside of your muscle tissue and inside of your liver tissue every single time you eat that food. So as those lipid droplets become larger inside of muscle cells, liver cells, then you end up developing insulin resistance, which is that insulin has a difficult time communicating with those tissues. Hey everybody, this is Klaus. I uh, just want to come in quickly and say, firstly, thank you very much for watching this video. Secondly, I uh, wanted to talk very, very briefly about a new partnership. We partnered with a new group called NFI Diet. Uh, they provide whole food, plant-based meal guides that go a step further than anything in the past by um, completely personalizing them. Uh, the protocol is being studied at a National Institute in Europe and they're getting some amazing results, uh, including uh, rapid weight loss as well as uh, type 2 diabetes remission often within weeks. Please check out the link down below if you want to find out more. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So we know that if you expose any part of your digestive tract to a processed meat product, you're putting that part of your body at higher risk for developing cancer. And most notably or infamously is the colorectal cancer risk with processed meat products. 
bacon and other processed meat is a class one carcinogen. And in the World Health Organization, that means that the research is so strong to show that it causes, not associated with, but it causes colorectal cancer. Um, that's as much research and that's as strong as evidence as you see with products like tobacco and lung cancer. The heme iron and bacon is also toxic to cells. Um, it creates oxidative stress and inflammation which damages cells. Um, it makes it more prone to DNA damage and therefore cancer. It also um, causes cells to be insulin resistant and, and therefore increase the risk of diabetes. And bacon is high in salt and we know that salt is um, increases our risk of developing hypertension, so high blood pressure, which is again directly related to our risk of heart disease. Yeah, you know how many articles had to be published before the Surgeon General of the United States put out a warning against cigarettes? 7,000 studies, right? Before they would be alerted. Do you think that there was a tough lobby in Congress against killing the tobacco industry? I mean, can you imagine the power of something like, well, here we are trying to kill the, the meat, dairy, egg, pork, and sugar industry. Think there's any power against this? <laughs> Listen, it's the challenges in life that are exciting. And uh, the, word is, the word is gonna get out there, yeah. Those foods are hormonally unfavorable too, because when you eat a lot of these, high, these animal products, it pushes up hormones, fat storage hormones, growth hormones, like IGF-1 insulin-like growth factor one. What I'm saying here, for a diet to be hormonally favorable, it has to be low in processed carbohydrates because processed carbohydrates could push up insulin too high. But the diet has to be low in animal products too because too much animal products pushes up insulin-like growth factor one too high. It's also um, a processed meat, which is full of nitrosamino compounds, which are known carcinogens. As a matter of fact, the consumption of bacon and hot dogs and pastrami and luncheon meats even prior to conception in women, increase the risk of childhood cancers or autism or brain tumors in their offspring. These foods are very dangerous foods. You know, they should come with a warning label on the package.